Good morning, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Matt Hollander. Well, snow is back in the forecast, but how much you're going to see depends on exactly where you live. So let's get right to your hour by hour forecast. Starting at 9 a.m. this morning. And what is that shade of pink showing up around Omaha? Well, that is indicating a true wintry mix. 9 a.m. this morning, we could see just about anything, to be honest with you. It's at that perfect temperature in the atmosphere where it's possible to be a little bit of freezing rain, just plain rain, maybe a little bit of sleep, maybe a few flurries of snow. That's what we call it a wintry mix. Could be a little bit of everything. I do think it's a, a brief period where we have that possibility of seeing all that precipitation. I've been noticed farther to the west, it's actually gonna be a little bit warmer. So it's probably gonna be all rain. And that's gonna be something we're gonna be watching throughout the day. Now, at noon, I think everywhere in Nebraska is rain because temperatures above freezing. So all the precipitation should be falling is rain, but colder air is gonna be coming in. And at some point that rain is gonna to transition to snow. When exactly does that occur? So let's look at three o'clock. Notice that we're seeing snow fill in across the northern part of the state, but for the southeastern part of the state, it's still rain. Now it's possible as early as three, we could see that rain transition to snow in Omaha. Now, not all the models say three o'clock. Some are saying it's later than that. And when we have that transition from rain to snow, that's going to dictate how much snow we're ultimately going to see. So that's something we're going to have to watch. And if we see the rain transition to snow earlier, get ready for a higher snow total. So it was winding up on the higher end of the possibilities. If it takes longer, then we're going to wind up with lower snow. And I do think because it's going to be warmer farther to the west, like Lincoln, Grand Island, Kearney, it's probably going to stay rain longer and that transition is going to take longer. And that's why ultimately snow totals are going to be smaller to the west, higher to the east. All right, six o'clock. Again, it's still possible it could be a rain snow mix in some places. But as we get farther into the evening, yes, it's definitely going to be snow. I think certainly by nine o'clock this evening, all snow coming down uh, and some pockets of heavy snow are possible closer to the Iowa border. Farther to the west, probably just going to be light to moderate snow, but still the possibility of some pockets of heavier snow during the evening hours in the far eastern part of the state. Midnight, still snow coming down. After midnight, we're going to start to see things winding down first in the central part of the state and then eventually in the eastern part of the state. I bet 6 a.m. tomorrow morning we're just talking about some leftover snow flurries and then by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning all the snow is out of here. So how much are we going to see? Well this is one model opinion of what's going to happen. So this is one possibility and if I had to pick one model this is the model uh, I'd go with. But again it's Kind of a dangerous thing just to go with one model. It's always good to look at all the possibilities and make an official forecast. But I think this one's got the best handle on the situation. And notice how there's a pretty tight gradient from less than an inch around Grand Island and Kearney to close to two inches in Lincoln. And then around Omaha, the possibility of three to five inches. So that's one model. Here's my official forecast looking at all the models, though. I think the possibility for Grand Island and Kearney as little as absolutely nothing. It could just be a, a quick dusting, nothing that could actually be measured to perhaps as high as an inch if the snow overachieves. For Lincoln, I think we're looking at as little as an inch, possibly as high as three inches. Omaha, again, this is kind of the trickiest forecast really is the Omaha area because it's gonna depend on how quickly we see that changeover from rain to snow. If that happens early in the day, we could wind up with five inches of snow in Omaha. If it takes longer though, may only end up with two inches. So what's most likely probably three to four inches. Uh, so winter weather advisory, because of those higher snow totals, basically anywhere we're expecting possibly over an inch of snow, that's where the winter weather advisory is in fact. So yes, Lincoln and Omaha, but Grand Island, Kearney, no, that's, you're not in that winter weather advisory. So it's right focused right along the Iowa border uh, because that's where we expect the most prolonged period of snow. So for those in the winter weather advisory, Lincoln and Omaha, we're highlighting with this winter weather advisory the possibility of moderate to heavy snow from late this afternoon through the overnight hours. We're probably the most widespread activity during the evening hours. That's probably the best chance we're seeing some heavier pockets of snow. By the way, during the evening overnight hours tonight, wind gusts are going to be 35 to 45 miles per hour. And with that kind of wind, that could certainly blow things around. So if you have any lightweight outdoor objects, it's going to be one of those extra windy nights. So make sure that stuff is secure, bring it inside. Otherwise, it might wind up in the uh, neighbor's yard. 
And also that's gonna cause any snow that falls to be blown around. So the combination of falling snow and blowing snow is gonna reduce visibility significantly. So that's gonna make driving difficult. And I think the biggest takeaway is that if you can avoid traveling during the late afternoon through the overnight hours, do so. Uh, if you can cancel your Friday night plans and just stay in, I think that's best because it's gonna be messy. It's not gonna be good to be driving and being out and about. Uh, if you do have to travel, I know some folks might have to work or sometimes emergencies come up, just give yourself extra time to reach your destination because you're gonna wanna drive below the speed limit. You might encounter some snow covered roads that could slow you down. So just be careful if you do venture out during the late afternoon through the overnight hours. And by the way, the snow will come to an end during the early morning tomorrow. It's going to be a really cold start to the weekend. We're looking at wind chills just below zero to start the day.